Blingo Chicago is a production company and we curate these cultural experiences. Uh, we work with a lot of different artists, local artists in the city, musicians, different vendors. Um, the whole point is how do we get people from different neighborhoods, different ethnicities and backgrounds in the same space as we are in now and get them to talk more and be social and just kind of learn about each other and what they're doing with their lives, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so hearing um, Commissioner uh, talk earlier, he just made me remember we did this event uh, and I want to say it was 2015 or 2016 and it was called the Lawndale Stories and it happened down the street at the, uh, the gallery and we took over that space when they like first opened it and we used each floor and we got to have people, old school people, OGs we like to call them, uh, from the neighborhood and they kind of talked about what you know Ogden used to look like and what Roosevelt used to look like and uh, what 16th used to look like. And that never left my mind. And I even went home and tried to like Google it, like, you know, because they were talking about all the stores and all the lights that used to be down in. And so it's really refreshing to hear um, it come up again today. And so a part of what I feel like I've been called and gifted to do is to continue to connect people and use um, different forms of artistry to do that. And growing up in North Lawndale, I've always had to leave my neighborhood. I never had a choice to enjoy any form of nightlife. I mean, the only bar that I know of is, is the Skylark bar over here on Pulaski, whatever that is. And I've never even stepped foot in it just because it's, it's always seemed like a you know, kind of hole in the wall place, um, which sometimes are the best places to hang out. But it's just, I've always remembered that I always had to leave my neighborhood. And I always felt like my choice was taken from me. And so it's been my mission to kind of bring some form of social nightlife back to my community. And so the form, and the way it looks now, we do pop-ups. So it started in North Lawndale, it started at my house, believe it or not, we used to do house concerts. And we used to get artists to come in my house and we opened up our home and we used to pack it out. Um, and it just used to be incredible and I've always just loved it. And um, it was always, I've always felt like my best self, you know, just kind of connecting people in that way. Um, and so we've continued it on. It started in 2015. Here we are now in 2019 um, with hopes to get a space somewhere in North Lawndale because that's where it started. Um, we were able to use Anna Marie's space a, month, a couple months ago. Um, and it was just beautiful. Uh, we, it was a black history event. It was called uh, My Heart Beats Rhythm and Blues. And so we kind of like implemented kind of the old school feel to it. It was really intimate and just people were really vibing and there were people from North Lawndale, people from Pilsen, people from, and so that's the whole point of the Lingo Chicago is for to get people to embrace who they are and what form of artistry they possess and kind of bring that out in front of people. And uh, we've been doing that for a little bit and it's been fun, it's been an adventure um, again. And so I'm just honored to be here and uh, yeah, thank you guys for having me. Um, we have a website, so thelingochicago.com. Um, you guys can check that out if you are IG people, Instagram. It's the Lingo Chicago. Um, and just stay up to date with the latest and, and the things we have coming up. Thank you guys.